Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Pisces, you are up. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus, as well as Mercury, or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Pisces in their chart, this is for you too. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Pisces in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Pisces in their chart, maybe there are some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your uh, moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you're born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury um, when you're dealing with love readings. Um, first, just want to say happy birthday, Pisces. Um, I know I left y'all's reading for the best for last. It's your season right now, so happy uh, birthday to you. Hopefully, y'all are doing good. It's also going to be, um, it's also... Pisces Mercury retrograde during Pisces season so this could be something that's very emotional for you as far as your emotions um, and you know going through certain things as far as trying to heal you know old wounds so again I keep in mind that you are the moon card as far as the toward card so you that's about the unknown your shadow self you know dreams you know using your intuition your emotions you know living in illusions dealing with deception dealing with fears different things like that so that's pretty much what a lot of people are dealing especially with it being mercury retrograde and mercury retrograde is from um march the 5th all the way to, to the 28th and this is 10 when people from the past you know people dealing with their karma um you know a lot of past conflicts coming back up to resurface that you thinking that you have healed from that you have not necessarily healed from um, you know, electronics not working, you know, not signing contracts, not taking on new jobs, not taking on new relationships, not making big decisions during Mercury retrograde. Um, and those are the things that tend to people find, you know, that they keep recurring um, every Mercury retrograde that keeps happening. If you are very spiritual, you know this, okay? So again, if you don't like listening to me at the beginning of my videos, as far as my intros, I always have... Uh, timestamps and all of my videos in the comment section where you can go all the way down to that so you can go directly to the reading but again I'm here to help wake up the collective as well as help you go through and help you through your journey and make your spiritual awakening um, and your um, transformation um, process you know more easier um, than just throwing you fish you know putting putting you in a shark it's like a spiritual awakening to me is like you being like a little Mimo, you being Mimo, and they putting you in the, sh the a shark tank a full of sharks, okay? And then you, you start waking up and you start gaining this courage and you start being a little bit more aware about, aware about around your surroundings and what's really going on and, you know, the manipulation that we have been, you know, they've been using against us. You, you really start paying attention to everything as far as, you know, nature, astrology, Tory. And you're realizing that it's all tied into one big old pot that the elite has been using um, against us. And um, again, toward is something that they say in the Bible for you not to 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 mess with. Don't mess with astrology. Don't mess with zodiacs. But again, for the people that I'm not downing anybody's religion, but I'm just trying to make you understand if it says it in the Bible for you not to touch it and you still read the Bible and you're watching this, 
it's really contradicting your beliefs and this is something that my ancestors are wanting me to tell you that you're really if you're watching toward you're so much outside of the bible and you really need to start really learning and paying attention to yourself because you have the opportunity to be in a, a, a jesus form a buddha form as far as you reaching your spirituality and knowing thyself and for some reason that me that message is coming out strong and I i'm not here to argue with anybody i'm here just to help everybody understand that all of this is tied into one big old pot and it's the more that you understand it and you understand who you are and who you are as a person it helps you move forward in your life a lot better and so this is the messages that i have and this is the reason why i wanted to keep you um, you last as far as all, and, and, and end up, I, I didn't attemptly just keep you last. It's just when I pulled the cards, you end up being the last card. And I was like, okay, you're saving the best for last because I know that's a lot of things that's going to be happening during Mercury retrograde in 2019 is the year of, you know, evolving evolution. Um, you becoming, um, you know, more powerful than you possibly could think that you can be powerful a lot of people like i was saying are learning their gifts they're finding out that they are very gifted people um during all this energy shifts shifts all these portals that have been opening up and so again i'm here to help you gain clarity in some of the things that you're seeing and when you see numbers and synchronicities um it's not just angel numbers those have to do also with numbers that are dna dna coded into your veins your dna and it's helping you understand exactly what your ancestors, your higher self are trying to wake you up to. And it's just levels to it. It's like a video game, okay? And I can just, anybody that, um, you know, understands what I'm saying, they know that it's like a video game and you're like in your own video game and you're trying to master each level. Um, and every level that you master, you get more knowledge, you get more information about yourself that helps you move a little bit better, that helps you um, realize the things that was blocking you so you can overcome it better than what you are doing. And a lot of people tend to not realize that during Mercury retrograde and Mercury retrograde happens three times a year, okay? And it's for, like I said, March the 5th to the 28th. So it usually lasts a whole lot, a month. And a lot of people end up messing up, fucking up because they're not realizing the manipulation that they're using in the energies in order to cause more karma and more, you know, lower energies to happen in your life. So I'm here to help you understand exactly what Mercury is about. Really pay attention to what energies as far as the zodiacs that's in, you know, the placements as far as Mercury retrograde, because that's how you're going to deal with, you know, um, things that happens during Mercury retrograde when people present their self, how you basically are going to be presenting your energy to these people and how you're going to deal with it, okay? Um, so... Again, love Mercury retrograde because you have a lot of people that's coming back from your past that's trying to, you know, either help you move forward on your purpose or either cause com more conflicts into your life and cause you to be off your purpose, okay? So keep in mind that that's what stuff that happens right here. So don't make big decisions. Um, if you did have a decision that you were going to be making before Mercury retrograde, um, you know, stick to that decision, but play it out a little bit better. Pay attention be aware of your surroundings and see exactly who it is that's coming into your life and why these people are coming into your life. If they're here to help you or they're, if they're here to cause you to fail. Okay, so let's move forward. I feel that I have rambled more, more than I needed to. But again, this is Pisces season. This is very big for y'all. A lot of transformations that's going to be happening as far as during uh, Pisces season. A lot of things that are going to be coming revealed um, as far as... Um, illusions deceptions your fears and things like that so again i have my music in the background if you're interested in booking a reading with me you can email me at goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com if you didn't get my email address it's also listed in the description box of my video as well as the about me of my channel um i also do emergency readings which are done within um 20 uh 24 to 48 hours from the time that I receive your payment and those readings are $50 each um, So let's go ahead and get started have my music in the background. The cards have already been shuffled um, We're gonna go ahead and cut them on camera if you're interested in uh, Purchasing any of these decks that I use in my videos um, you can uh, 
go down to the description box of the videos as well as the link for the cafe astrology with for your birth chart would all be listed there too as well okay Again, just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me as well as welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is one of these, oh, I'm going to keep you woke channels too at the, at the same time as me helping you with your love, your love life because again, it's all tied with each other and you're going to realize that once the more that you wake up um, and you realize how everything works. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, this is going to be for... Uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus, as well as Mercury, and then Cross Watchers that's dealing with somebody that has strong Pisces in their chart. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them in three more times. The next time that's underneath whatever is at the bottom of the deck, I will take that as part of your energy, Pisces. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups being reversed. And the Knight of Cups came out. Mm. I can't think of it. I, it was one of the readings that I just did. I, it could possibly be the, the Scorpio reading uh, is what I want to say. But the Knight of Cups came out also during the energy of this. So some of you Pisces, if you were dealing with a Scorpio or if you have Scorpio in your chart. But when the Knight of, of Cups is reversed, this is letting me know that some of y'all are dealing with a situation as far as, you know, manipulation. I feel that some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was, you know, the type of the love them and then leave them. Um, I feel that somebody is also, there's some of you that are dealing with that type of deception. And then there's some of you Pisces that are fearing, uh, has fears of commitment, okay? So I see that there's two, possibly could be three situations as far as this. But there's, you know, you dealing with the overall energy as, as far as somebody manipulating you and you, you dealing with the deception of that. And then some of you are dealing with somebody that is fear, has fears of commitment. This could be you, Pisces, or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. If this is a double water sign, a, a um, um, relationship, you're dealing with somebody that's another Pisces, another Scorpio, another Cancer. Boy, y'all, well... I'm just going to say positive energy just going y'all's way because y'all are going to have a very emotional um, uh, uh, situation that's going to be going on with y'all, okay? And I can feel it already, okay? And that's that's the crazy thing because <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this energy, Pisces, but let's see what's going together. Let's see what we got, what's going to be going together with this Knight of Cups being reversed. Yeah. I I, I want to say it was the Scorpio reading, okay? Because this Knight of Wands is coming out now. The Knight of Wands came out on the Scorpio reading, but this one was, um, it was upright. This time it's reversed. So Pisces, let's say if you are the uh, Knight of uh, Cups being reversed and you are right now overly sensitive because of a King of Wands possibly put you in a situation where they were manipulating the situation, they could have been in and out. When we have the King of Wands being reversed, this is the player. This is somebody that's also very manipulative as well as somebody that's very uh, selfish they're controlling as far as when it comes to, you know, wanting uh, the relationship to be a certain way, um, controlling more, wanting their wants before they want your wants. Um, I feel that this could have been something that Pisces that's caused you to be a bit impatient because when the king of pinnacle, the king, the king of pinnacles, the king of wands is reversed. 
Um, this is also about somebody that is um, has a bad temper. So again, some of y'all could be very angry right now or there could have been an argument that has went back and forth between you and this person. But I feel that a lot of y'all right, right now are very impatient um, when it comes to dealing with this person. And it's crazy, I said the King of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and then we also have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So there is somebody... Um, we have a lot of earth in this reading, okay? Earth, we have the, the I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the cards that we have here. We have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles upright. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles upright, which is the Virgo card. Again, earth, uh, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, earth again, earth again. And then we have fire so again this can be aries um leo or sagittarius okay so i feel that um in this situation pisces there could be some of y'all right now that are experiencing some type of heartache as far as when it comes to a relationship that you were in this possibly could be a marriage as well because the ace of pentacles card is the marriage card as well so there could be some of y'all that are going through a divorce you actually are you know actually removing yourself from um a, a knight of pentacles or a king of wands this person could have fire in their chart or either like i said water as well i feel that somebody is basically having a disconnect because this person again love them and leave them as far as you know the knight of um as far as the knight of wand of um, the knight of cups being reversed is the love them and leave them and then also you have in the king of wands being reversed this person with somebody that was really a player and they were manipulative as far as when it came to them expressing their emotions this person showed you deep passion there could have been deep intimacy as far as when it came to this relationship i feel that this is something that you invested in there could have been um you know you being more um when the ace of pentacles is reversed this is about a false start. This is also about greed. So there could have been money that was involved in this situation as far as somebody just being there for, you know, a benefit as far as, you know, assets or material um, uh, fulfillment is what I'm getting from this. Um, when the Ace of Pentacles is also reversed, this is about something being exposed. Um, so there could be, um, ex you know, exposure of somebody's behavior or exposure of this person being a player is what I'm getting from this too. I feel that also when the Ace of Pentacles is reversed, um, this is about bad money. So some of you Pisces could be going having a situation as far as bad money. Um, there could be an, a layoff or there could be a last, lack of assets as far as when it comes to your financial stability, as far as when the Ace of Pentacles is reversed. Again, an ending to a marriage. I have, let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past and this possibly could be a fire sign or it could be an earth sign. Um, if this is an earth sign, this earth sign was somebody that was very slow moving. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the most slow moving knight in the deck. This person takes their time. They do what they need to do um, before they actually give a commitment. Um, they wait the last minute in order for them to give the commitment. Um, so when the Knight of Pentacles is reversed, um, this is pretty much letting me know. Let's say if this is somebody that's from your past and this person is coming back to you as the Knight of Pentacles. But again, um, as far as the up, the it being reversed, I'm seeing that this person was somebody that was very irresponsible. They could have been irresponsible as far as their, their money, irresponsible as far as the marriage, if there was a deep commitment, because I feel that there was a commitment when the Ace of Pentacles comes out. This lets me know that this was something that was invested. You've invested your time in Pisces. Our cross watchers, you invested your time into this Pisces. I feel that with this Knight of Pentacles also being reversed, um, this is pretty much letting me know that, um, you know, you dealing with your insecurities, Pisces, I, um, overall about this situation, as well as, again, um, I feel that there's a lot of jealousy that's involved um, as far as when it comes to this relationship, or there could be, again, some of you Pisces possibly could have... Um, Let's say if you were a Pisces woman, and I'm just going to go ahead and say that, that there could be two different um, people that you are choosing from. There could be a fire sign and there could be an earth sign that's involved in a certain situation as far as this, 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 um, uh, your situation is what I'm getting from this. 
But again, let's say if you Pisces are trying to get over some type of heartache, let's say if you did end a marriage and this is just still energy that you're getting over and you are right now, again, the night of um, cups being reversed and you're very sensitive, you know, you are having fears of committing to another person or committing to anybody else because of what has happened to you in the past. I feel that right now you are holding the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. You are somebody that's basically, you know, um, shining. This song came out on another, oh my gosh, it came out on another reading and it was this, I want to say it was the Scorpio reading and I don't, if I'm going to go back and read it, um, listen to the reading and see um, which reading that was that this song came out on to and I'm going to post it in the comments. So y'all bear with me about that because that's happening for a reason and again, I'm a clear audience. Um, so I pay attention to music. I pay attention to how all that, you know, connects together. And I feel like whoever is connected to this other person that's in this video, this song is coming out for a reason and you need to pay attention to it. Um, but again, we have the queen of pentacles. This is you basically shining Pisces. That's what I was getting ready to song say. And the song come turns on, um, that song, uh, better by uh, Kaladi, Kalad, or whatever his name is. Nothing feels better than this. Okay, so that song is what I'm talking about. So that song could be very significant to somebody. But again, let's go back to the reading. So Pisces, um, if you are pretty much right now, this is how this person is seeing you, or this is how you basically the energy that you are producing and showing everybody else. I feel that with the Queen of uh, Pentacles coming out, this is you basically being very caring, being very nurturing. You basically just having a big heart as well as being, you know, a good mother. Um, even if you are Pisces man, you're in the energy as far as the Queen of Pentacles. There's nothing wrong with that because we all have fem feminine and masculine energy, the yin and the yang, in order for us to bring balance to ourselves to make us whole. So you have to have both energies within yourself. So I'm just seeing you as being somebody that's basically a good father, a good mother. You're hardworking. Um, you're keeping your head up regardless of what it is that you went through. I feel that somebody is also gaining their independence because when we have the night of uh the nine of pentacles coming out, this is about somebody gaining their independence. This is about somebody having a lot of different options that's available to them too. So let's say if you are ending a relationship with you know somebody as far as a marriage or um, and you're moving forward and you're, 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 you're being headstrong. You're, you're gaining your confidence back. This could have been something that did beat up your insecure, you know, cause you to be insecure, cause you to lose your, your emotions and your, your, your grounding within yourself. I feel that somebody is now gaining their confidence back. They're gaining their strength back. I feel that you are, have a lot of different blessings that's coming to you because the nine of pentacles is also about, um, you know, in heritage. This is also about big money. This is also about a big game. Um, I feel that there's a lot of wisdom that's coming back, you know, that you're using off of your experience in order for you to move forward. And even though if it caused you to, you know, not, you know, be overly emotional, cause you to fearing opening up to committing to somebody else, I feel that you're holding your head strong and you're moving forward with the situation. Um, now, let's say if this is a Pisces and you're dealing with somebody that is an earth sign or a fire sign that's coming back from your past. This person possibly could have been, again, somebody that was in and out. They were the player. They were not investing in the relationship. They were taking their time in order for them to give you some type of commitment, to give you some type of offer. They could have been investing in something else or tied to something else where they were invested in or, you know, expressing their emotions to somebody else because this is the Ace of Pentacles means about homes. This is about family. So there could have been another person that was involved, especially if they are the player. And then we also have the Nine of Pentacles here too, which is the Virgo card and this is typically the bachelor the bachelorette card so i feel that somebody would could have been you know invested in a relationship making it seem that that they had you know a family a home with you or if this was a marriage but behind your back they were being more of the bachelor they were being more of the single person i feel that this person is um um they're and I, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing jealousy involved. Oh, here we go with the five of wands being reversed. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. 
Okay, y'all. Um, we have the five of wands being reversed. So again, how I was saying jealousy. So I feel that there could be a lot of jealousy. There could be friends and family members that is jealousy, that's jealous to a certain connection that you have, Pisces, or you could have friends and family that's members that's around you that's jealous of, you know, the way that you live or, you know, you basically being confident and going out to get yours because this is the boss card. This is somebody that's very ambitious. They're very headstrong. They got it put together. They got everything going for themselves. So there could be a lot of jealousy that's involved in this situation because we have the five of wands card being reversed. And when the five of wands card is reversed, this is about, you know, love lust and desires this is about competition so again how i was saying earlier pisces let's say if this earth sign puts you in competition or there was competition in order for this person to invest in this relationship it could have not been a third party situation this could have just been that this person had a certain way of living a certain lifestyle or they were just very stingy with their money or in their time and not wanting to invest i feel that this person um had you competing um for um their love um, I feel that this person is ma trying to mature as far as their emotions. They're trying to, um, the, you know, let's say if they were, uh, the energy is just throwing me off. Let's say if, because I feel that this person is going to be coming in with some type of message and I feel that they're going to be very immature um, as far as how they feel and how they're going to be expressing their self. But at the same time, they have good intentions is what they're wanting me to tell you, Pisces. Um, but at the same time, it's going to be up to you. We also have the Queen of Wands here because, again, here, this is the, the competitors. So, again, if you are a Pisces woman and you were fighting for this relationship or a Pisces man and you were fighting for this relationship and, um, you know, but behind their back, they were, you know, out single doing whatever they wanted to do in, in order not to uh, bring a solid commitment to you. I feel that somebody is like... Um, Because, okay, there's, we have the Queen of Wands and we have the King of Wands. So this could be possibly a twin flame relationship as well. But these are counterparts and both of y'all being reversed. I feel that there's a lot of anger and a lot of aggression um, as far as when it comes to this connection and this relationship. I feel that um, there's a lot of back and forth as far as arguments. And especially, let's say, if this person was somebody that was a two-timer or somebody that would just like the single life or they were really the love and leave them or they were the player. And we also have the Queen of Wands being reversed, which is somebody that's very promiscuous and very, you know, um, manipulative, judgmental. They're also very bitter. Um, they're very judgmental um, and they're holding all these characteristics and them not investing and just doing what the fuck they want to do is pe pretty much is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm uh, This person, um, like I'm, I'm irritated right now. We have the strength card being reversed. So again, here's some more fire. So this is the Leo card. Um. I feel that this person is very afraid as far as when it comes to a commitment. I feel that they react in ways that as far as them not really wanting to react that certain way. But again, they, they tend to overdo it when they react is what I'm hearing. Um, but when the strength card is reversed, this is also about somebody that's afraid. So again, I feel that somebody's afraid of commitment. This is also somebody basically lacking some type of confidence within yourself. I feel that, that some of you Pisces are dealing with somebody that's very conceited and they like the bachelor life. They're not going to change as as far as a purpose person because they are to really the love and leave them type. So I feel that some of y'all are really dealing with somebody that is that way and you're really going to be moving yourself, you're distancing yourself as far as your emotions. Emotions. This is going to be something that's going to be hard for you to deal with because it's going to have to get you're going to have to gain strength in this in order for you to move forward. We have the seven of one, the seven of swords being reversed. And when the seven of swords is reversed, this is about, again, um, somebody learning to tr gain trust again. Um, they're learning to trust again. They're regaining their hope. They're regaining their faith. I feel that somebody has been getting good advice from somebody um, or they could be finally um, listening to their intuition, especially if this is somebody that's coming back from the past and they're realizing that they have all these characteristics within their self and they're wanting to change and cut them out, but they know that they have to in mature as an individual and mature as, as far as their emotions. I feel that this is a battle for this person. 
yeah, we have the Six of Wands being reversed. And when the Six of Wands being reversed, again, backstabbing, somebody having too much pride, them realizing that they're losing um, out of it, out of, they're, lose, they're losing out of a certain situation as far as when it comes to a connection because of their behavior is what I'm getting from this too. Um, so this is crazy, Pisces. So I feel a lot of different things is happening as far as what's going on. So I feel that some of y'all could be ending a relationship as far as um, a marriage completely from an earth sign. Um, this person possibly, again, could have fire in their chart because, again, it's coming on top of the Leo card. So this person could be a Leo. Um, we also have um, the Virgo card, but it's upright. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is upright. Um, we have the King, uh, the Page of Cups. Again, this could be you, Pisces, or you could be dealing with, again, earlier I said a double water sign relationship. And if this is a double water sign relationship, how I was saying earlier, Mercury retrograde is going to be very, very, very... Um, uh, emotional and very harsh on y'all. And I hope y whoever's watching this reading really pays attention to what I'm saying because I feel that somebody's been go getting ready to go through a lot of karma right now, okay? And especially if this is the person that's dealing, that was doing the bad and they were doing, you know, the other person wrong, I feel that this person is, um, since experienced some, some emotions that they possibly don't want to experience. And it's going to be, um, they're going to have to gain strength in order for them to get out of it. Um, they're going to feel beat up when it comes to um, them coming to this realization is what I'm getting from this too. <sighs> it says forgiving and learning. So again, it says as you release and you heal the past, you ex you experience more love in your present moment. So again, you healing the past, you, you forgiving people that have hurt you in the past, you healing any old wounds that you know that you know that's keeping you stuck causing you not to move forward especially again pisces if you have dealt with um you know relationships that cause you nothing but heartache that cause you to you know lose confidence with yourself as well as cause you to feel insecure um and now you were fearing commitment i feel they're telling for you to let go of that resentment let go of that bitterness allow yourself to open up to the highest form of love as well as to give the highest form of love forgive yourself for allowing yourself to let these people come into your life to let you know these forgive yourself for you allowing yourself to go through the things that you went through that was either good or bad everything that we experience is nothing but a lesson to us and it helps us move forward on our path so they're saying forgive yourself for allowing yourself to go through it as well as forgive the people that have hurt you and it says as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments regardless if this is anything that's from your childhood any old relationships that you're still trying to heal from they're saying let it go um, move forward and once you learn to let go um, you're forgiving yourself and you're allowing yourself to heal the proper way okay and at that time you're maturing in your emotions you're allowing yourself to grow and you're taking baby steps even if you have to take baby steps they're saying allow yourself to take baby steps because at the end of the day you're going to gain your self-confidence back you're going to gain your self-worth and you're going to have a lot of new beginnings that's going to be coming to you by the end of the year pisces so i'm saying don't give up um if you are experiencing heartache you're experiencing a breakup they're saying don't give up we have romantic feelings so again if this is somebody that's coming back from your past this person is going to get realize that they have really deep um, romantic feelings feelings for you um in the past they possibly were not expressing that they possibly were in and out they possibly were having multiple suitors um as well as just enjoying their bachelor or their single life i feel that this person again is realizing you know how much you really mean to them again this person the a page of cups coming up upright this is the messenger of love um, this is somebody that's wanting to express their emotions. We got the water here, and this is somebody that's coming in fast as far as them expressing it. And again, them coming in fast is going to come in, you know, they're going to be uh, immature when they give you this, the way that they deliver this message to you. But at the same time, they're, the way that they feel about you, there is romantic feelings there, and they really do love you. So it says your feelings are real, and they're worth exploring. So again, Pisces, it's going to be up to you if you're going to forgive this person and allow this person to come 
come back or if you're going to reconnect with this person after everything that they have done is what I'm hearing from this too. Um, we have passion. Again, there's strong passion here. There's a deep connection that you and this person has. It says, allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. So again, if this person is coming back, there could be some intimacy that's involved. I feel again, Pisces, if you are ending a relationship and you are um, cutting out again an earth sign or a fire sign or if these people were just somebody that you invested in a relationship and they were in and out and they were the love and leave them type, I feel that there's going to be somebody that is going to be by the end of the year that's going to be expressing their uh, deep attraction to you that's going to give you the opportunity to have a new relationship and this is going to be a relationship that's going to be long term. Um, this is going to be somebody that's going to want to invest in the relationship with you, okay? But uh, So they're saying keep your head up in the meantime, Pisces, because y'all are going to be going through, you know, some hurt, some some pain, some crying is what I'm hearing from this. But they're saying don't give up the fight. Um, you are going to lose strength, but they're saying don't give up the fight, okay, um, Pisces? Is, Pisces. Wow. The Dolphin Spirit. So it says this and that are true. So we have a 20 here, which is the union card, which is the balance card. Um, so this, again, the dolphin spirit. Um, this is about, you know, somebody being friendly. This is somebody being very kind-hearted. Dolph dolphins have a wonderful spirit, a wonderful soul. Um, they're very, very um, bright, um, wise animals. Um, so they're saying for you to pay attention, especially if you have a spirit animal as a dolphin, um, there could be some fears as far as dolphins too, is what I'm going to say for this too, because I feel that there's somebody that fears dolphins, um, are, but dolphins are very, very spiritual gifted creatures. Um, the U, the United States, America does not allow you to touch a dolphin. If you have contact with the dolphin, you get arrested. Um, it's a felony. And so again, um, dolphins tend when you touch them, um, they give you messages because of the way that they have um, their frequencies. And so again, that's something that's very important to somebody. So, wow, this 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 reading has just turned my emotions around where it just got me very emotional. So again, Pisces, if y'all are experiencing true like emotions, um, they're saying cry, you know, let it out. Um, it's nothing wrong with crying, especially right now. This is your season. Allow yourself to purge, allow yourself to let go of any of those emotions that you no longer want. Um, we have cow spirit. So it says the miracles are endless. So they're saying again, don't give up, realize that you go through things. And at the end of, at any, at the end of any pain, there's always rainbows at the end of any pain. There's always rainbows. So miracles can happen. Okay. Um, we have a 15 here. So this is again, this is the uh, a six. So this is about harmony. This is about the past. So again, the past is trying to come back. Um, they're wanting to reconnect. So I do feel that there is a connection. There is uh, mutual love here and mutual respect here. Um, it's just that this person, the way that they express this or the, the, the way that this person's action was um, didn't get them anywhere is what I'm getting. And it caused a lot of delays between the relationship with you and this person, okay? Um, we have Panther Spirit. So it says, reclaim your power. So again, reclaim your power, reclaim your strength. Um, we have the Leo card being reversed. So again, this is about somebody lacking confidence within their self. They need to gain their inner strength so they can have that passion. So you can be, you know, gain your power, gain that courage, um, gain that passion. Um, so they're saying for you to be, reclaim your power. Um, we have a 44 here. So this is a four, which is about stability. You being stable within yourself, you gaining your confidence back, you being headstrong and you being motivated. Okay. I feel that the, you are a lot of you. Pisces are very ambitious people and they're saying for you to continue to reach for your dreams don't allow you know heartache or don't allow you know stuff that has happened to your past that that doesn't allow you to you know grow and reap the benefits that that are meant to come into your life okay we have open your presence so we have a 33 here so earlier how I was talking about um you know, you basically knowing thyself, but 33 is a very, that's also a master number. So again, that's you basically being a master, um, you of your um, master of what it is that you do, you being a magician, you manifesting your own reality, you being in that creative energy. So again, open your presence. So let's see what that says. Let me find the book. 
Where is the book? Okay, just got it. It says, every, ever since a time-lapse film of a flower blooming, its petals open wide. That's your new row model. Visualize yourself opening your arms wide, embracing all pr the prosperity and abundance that's flowing your way. Receive, 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 and then pass it on. So again, y'all have a lot of abundance that's coming to you. Even if you are removing yourself from a relationship, you have a lot of new things that's coming to you by the end of the year. Allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to go through this purging. Allow yourself to release anything that was keeping you stuck. And regardless if this is a relationship, characteristics within yourself, certain habits about yourself that you're trying to let go. Um, they're saying let go of it because you have a lot of new beginnings, a lot of new, a lot of miracles coming your way. Okay. Um, we have loud and clear, so we have a 45 here, which is a 9. So again, that's about moving on, happiness, growth. Um, let's see what this is saying. It says, can you hear me now? What about now? What about now? This is the time for telling it like it is. Get very clear in your in intuition. Know exactly what you want to communicate and trust that you are correctly connected to the universal network and just so you know it's a lot bigger than 10 g's <laughs> so this is pretty much basically saying that you are always connected with the universe you're always connected with your higher self they have been trying to guide you they've been trying to lead you on certain paths in your life a lot of y'all have possibly been seeing synchronicities, but at the same time, not using your gut fit, fit, uh, gut intuition in order to lead you um, in the right path. A lot of y'all, you know, the ones that do have an intuition, that's a gift to help you. Um, so a lot of y'all need to tap into that again. Pisces, y'all are very, 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 very gifted people because you are the moon card and you have to think about all that energy as far as emotions. So you are empaths. So a lot of y'all are empaths. So they're saying pay attention to the gifts that you have and use them to your advantage. And when you use them to your advantage at that time, it will show you that you have always been connected to the universe and your higher self is now um, here to help you move forward in your life. Okay. We have jackpot again, new beginning. Somebody is getting a, you know, a brand new beginning, regardless of which way you're going. If you're returning to somebody that's from your past, you and this person reconnecting, or if you're ending a relationship and you're moving back to, you know, gaining your independence, jackpot, okay? Four, so y'all could be seeing a lot of fours, could be seeing a lot of threes, a lot of fives. If you're seeing fives, that's conflicts. That's about, that's gonna bring change. Three is about you connecting with your 3D body, with your higher self. Again, five, higher than 10 Gs, higher than 5D, uh, higher than 4D. You're finally in connection with your higher self. And then we have fours as for our stability, okay? So a lot of spiritual awakenings that I see that's going to be taking place during Pisces season for you. And this is going to be good for your overall purpose. It's going to be a little bit, you know, rough. It's going to be a little bit emotional for you. But at the end of the day, after Pisces, I see a lot of new brand new beginnings that's coming your way. So let's see what this 40 says. It says, do you see the dollar signs? They are circling around you like a uh, vulnerable uh, cyclone. Everything in your aura is pointing to material gain. Do you want to manifest a new home, more love, or a better job, or a new life? Maybe a bigger pocketbook. Maybe Gucci, bingo, might be wise to make some room because you got a lot of money coming. Money, honey. Money, honey. <laughs> money, new house, whatever what you want. Again, you have the availability to manifest. You are in, again, Know thyself, you are in the um, energy where you can manifest. This is also like alchemy. So I feel that a lot of y'all are going to be using alchemy in order for you to manifest the things that you want. So this is good for me, um, Pisces. I like this. It says, open up, open up for... 
for stability, okay? I cannot make this shit up. So open up, allow the universe to give you the gifts that was meant to be. Allow your destiny to finally come. This is gonna be a new game for you. A lot of abundance, a lot of new money, a lot of new health, a new relationship, new beginnings that's gonna be coming about in your life. Moving on. So again, some of y'all are going to be moving on from a relationship. Again, this is going to be something that's going to be cause you to be very emotional. But at the same time, they're saying for you to move forward. We have an eight here. So you are going to be moving forward from any emotional conflict that caused you to not be able to reap the benefits, be on the path that you need to be. They're saying for you to move on. Um, some of y'all, again, have moved on from this person. This person is trying to come back. Again, after you have moved on from this person, now this person is realizing um, their failures. They're realizing the things that they did in order for y'all to have so many delays and not having new beginnings in, in your life. So again, I feel that some of y'all are going to allow this person to come in and some of y'all are not going to allow this person to come back, okay? Um, we have reverse. We have... Um, it says changing your focus. So again, some of y'all were not paying attention to the synchronicities, the signs that you were getting. You were not following your intuition. You were um, allowing, you know, certain people to block you. Um, not seeing people as for what it is that they were doing, especially if you're dealing with somebody that was a love them and leave them or a player and they were not investing in your relationship. You were not seeing this person as for who it was. As it's saying, changing your focus. So a lot of y'all are changing your focus. Again, fives is about conflict. So these conflicts are going to be bring change. And when this change comes into your life, it it's going to be jackpot. Okay. Jackpot. Okay. So the cards that we have here, we have the Virgo card, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. Um, we have the Queen of Wands, which is Aries, Sagittarius, as well as Leo. We have the Page of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is... Uh, Again, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, as well as Taurus. The Leo card, which is the Strength card. We have the Ace of Pentacles, again, with the, which is Earth. And again, we have the Knight of the King of Wands being reversed. And then we also have the um, the Knight of Cups, which is Water again. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day.